Hello and welcome to Overdrive. This is the new Tata Curve Dot EV. This is the electric variant. Let's in this video talk about what differentiates this car from its ICE counterpart. Now, as you can see, under the hood is the electric powertrain. That's going to be the main differentiator, right? So it's going to be available in two options: one with a 45 kilowatt hour battery and one with a 55 kilowatt hour battery. In comparison, the ICE version will get two powertrain options again. One is a 1.2 liter GDI, that's direct injection turbo petrol. And there's also going to be a 1.5 liter turbo diesel. The petrol, diesel and the electric counterparts roll on 18 inch wheels. However, this is the alloy wheel design for the ICE versions, be it diesel or petrol. Whereas the electric is going to get more aerodynamic looking wheels. Almost act like a disc when the car is rolling. The next thing, we are going to see the EV badging or dot EV badging on the front doors on both sides. On the cabin of the ice variant, you are going to get this burgundy interior. So burgundy inserts, burgundy upholstery. The screen is going to be up to 12.3 inches, depending on the variant to choose 10.2 inches for the driver. And then you can have up to nine JBL speakers. So that remains common between these cars. Whereas the electric will get you the white upholstery, white inserts, but that multi-layered finish, multi-texture finish for the dashboard remains common across both the cars. There is going to be a change to the design of the exterior as well. Now the DRLs, headlights, all of that remains common, but on the EV, you get this vertical pattern and then you also get that EV charging clap, electronically controlled of course. So the moment you are done charging, you remove the charging gun, it's going to close on its own. On the ICE counterparts, however, you're going to get a more horizontal design pattern and then you're going to get that hot foiling done. Very similar to what we've seen on the Safari or even some of the Land Rovers for that matter. This helps achieve a more widened look or appearance for this car. And the rear panel, of course, gets the fuel filler lid, which you don't get on the EV. The other change for the ICE variants is going to be the ground clearance and the approach and departure angles. Now, because there is no battery in the floor, you get better figures for these three. Mm. 